Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is Braun Breaker. Break everyone. Uh, so this weekend superstar is Braun Breaker. He is a aggressive striker, modern era. And let's take a look at uh, what he's got going on. So Link, NXT, any color move, start with one more MP. Steiners, red move, start with four more move points. Modern Era gems do 5% more damage, and then the stock break everyone gear. Uh, strap in, hold on, prepare yourself for this trainer. At 26k, that's 6 star. Yellow moves start with 4 more MP. Blue moves start with 4 more MP. Uh, what this means is similar to how having dual red MP trainers allows us to start with like 10 mp red moves charge turn one and feud this will allow yellow combined with kofi and blue combined with lawler 10 mp moves to start charged in feud um training abilities insane uh incredibly good and braun is good himself but this is what really matters is the trainer on him like, the trainer is, he's good, but the trainer is far, far, far more important than he is. Um, so yeah, th this is a must-have trainer as soon as possible, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's get into the builds for him, because I think most people are going to be more interested in that than the trainer. Although, for me, the trainer is by far the most interesting part about him. Uh, I'm going to have five build sets for you guys. So we're going to start off with triple black, 10 MP finisher. Um, also keep in mind, I'm sure this is not the first of these duels. So if we get a black one, this finisher will charge loaded in feud with that particular trainer um, when that happens. So you'll see some rare trainers in here. Uh, Brawn is going to scale much better the better things that you have. Um, so we'll just start there. If you don't have a lot of stuff, I don't think Braun is going to necessarily be the striker for you. If you have a huge, huge roster with a lot of nice stuff, I think you will absolutely be able to make him work and work well. Anyway, 10 MP finisher, uh, 398k damage, make 26 randos into purple. Uh, overhead belly to belly suplex, 7 MP, deal 177k damage and choose a 7x3 area to make into multiply gems of strength 5. It's also hardcore, so if you're doing this against a trickster, you stun them for one turn. And side belly to belly suplex, 7 MP, 177k damage, choose a 7x3 area to make into snowfalls. Uh, modify all gems below it into black gems when broken by you. Entourage for this is Priest for 2 black MP, 1 extra multiply gem, Woods for 4 black MP, Zombie Edge for 12k damage, and Santa Hogan for the 1 MP. Um, like I said, I know this is more rare trainers. Um, that's just the way it's going to be on some of these for Braun. Um, you, anyway, uh, I'm not going to belabor that fact. This is not. This is probably my least favorite build set. Also, the finisher would be loaded this way in feuds without max defensive perks. So typically, the first one you see a lot of that. Um, the first feud. So I'll start showing some of these that you can make work in the first feud as well. Uh, anyway, we'll get out here. I've said anyway a few times. Uh, so, really straightforward. I'm going to toss the multiply gems on the bottom. Actually, the row with the most purples would be the best. But you need the top three for the, the snowfalls, right? Oh, let me fix the speed for you guys. Uh, your damage on this is really going to be dependent on where your purple gems hit. You could also use, if you don't have Zombie Edge, you could focus on purple uh, as well. Because, like, in this case, we didn't make many black gems. Uh, so it hit for, like, 5 million. So I'll actually run it again with Ray. Um, O2 Ray. Uh, because in that case, we didn't make many of the snowfalls into black. Uh, most of it all was purple damage, so which is likely to happen. You're really kind of uh, at the mercy of a little bit of random here. 
Of course, with anything where you're running double black, you could use a drip plate, but you're not going to get that much more uh, multiply gems on the board, so I think it's a huge waste. You'd be better off using, like, a tiara to buff the black gems. There we got some black gems, so this one probably hit a little bit hard. Eh, not really. It's, I just don't particularly care for this moveset. I'm actually not going to put Ray on. I don't like this moveset. Yes, it stuns. Uh, yes, you might use it against a trickster, but I don't think most people are going to use it, to be honest. I don't like it. Let's move on to triple red. Honestly, I think a ton of people are going to be, like, wowed by this one, and they're going to love this moveset uh, on paper or watching it. But honestly, um, I think, personally... It's kind of terrible, um, and we'll talk about why as we go. Uh, first off, it's not going to scale into six-star silver whatsoever, but on paper it looks super strong, right? Uh, running clothesline, uh, 2 MP blue, deal 198k damage, and deal 585k bleed damage. That's only 2 MP. Uh, standing Frankensteiner, 2 MP, deal 153k damage and destroy 2 random red gems, so this reloads this and this. And then your Diving Bulldog, 8 MP red, deal 276k damage and choose 8 gems to make into red. Um, yeah. So your trainers for this are all the bleed trainers, obviously, and this is capped. There is, other than, like, uh, Kyrie goes to 40% now... Uh, at six star gold, six star gold, at <laughs> five star gold, uh, 21k moves that cause bleeds. So you get another 15% damage, which is really only about uh, 75, 80k more bleed. Uh, so he's doing 2.2 million bleed um, for every click. Just a lot, most six star silvers are close to the 20 mil health range. See, that's actually 10 bleeds you have to stack. That's impossible to stack that many on turn one. So straight up, this is not good against six-star silvers and won't be good against six-star silvers this build, no matter what you do. That's why I don't like it. Um, it might look good before that, but we'll see. It also completely depends on how much you cascade, and I have been known to cascade a time or two. It also completely depends if you have enough reds on board. Uh, here we only have four. And that would not be enough to load this in feud, so we'll see what happens. You would need six reds on board to load this move in feud. Or uh, five if it's not the first feud. Maybe we'll get a red to fall. On the flip side, we're at least not gonna uh, cascade, it seems. So we're, we are gonna manage to stack three bleeds. Again, this move would not be loaded in Feud. Um, it would if we break one more, but then... Um, we do have one, but then we're not going to be... Hmm, let's see how much pin bar room we have. So this would load it in the first Feud, right here. So I'll go ahead and, and do something with that, I suppose. Uh, so a three match... Would... Yeah, this would be... Okay. We didn't cascade, so we are going to get one more bleed out. So this is like perfect. Uh so far no Yeah. That this is like an absolutely perfect run with him. You can't, you can't get any better um, than this. So let's see if it's enough to put Walter out of the way at 6-star bronze. And this is not going to get any bigger. So it will. So with a perfect run, no it won't because it was just a 3-swipe. Right? So that's the problem. Uh, right there. And that's like a perfect run out of this. You're only going to get 15% or 80k more on each bleed. Um... It just isn't going to do it. But it looks great. On paper. Off paper is just not for me, though. Uh, and that will finish it. We'll just shut her down here.
so is there a way to make this um let's, oh, let's just swipe there we go and swipe here the real question is there a way to make the bleed moose set viable um maybe if you wanted to mess with and i don't because i don't like it um but we can talk about it real quick here if you added one more to the destroy destroy three red uh get three purple maybe um i think it's a red to purple it might be the other way around you could do something uh with the sub potentially to load the sub into it and buy yourself some time but i just don't particularly care for the the bleed move set personally i don't think it's that great anyway moving along uh this move set would work uh for the first feud uh of the month assuming not max defensive perks but will not work when max perks are however um i think these dual these dual mp colors look like they're going to be a thing so if there's ever a red black dual you could use that and you'd even open up a um you could use that to get it loaded with two red mp trainers one being the four red four black anyway diving bulldog 8 mp 276k damage choose eight to make into red we've just used that one um did i not explain the bleed moves too i don't think i read them off look at me go uh so the running clothesline is uh, 198k and deal 50 586k bleed damage and then the frankensteiner uh, 153k damage destroy two random reds okay side belly to belly suplex 7 mp black 177k damage choose a 7x3 to make into snowfall gems we already saw these I am not on my a-game for talky talky we've already seen all of these moves so let's just put them together I'll shut up it's not easy for me to do uh, and this does recycle itself so first viewed, this would be loaded, um, Queen's Tiara or Drip Plate. I am not going to put a Drip Plate on him because uh, it won't make as big a difference as a lot of people think. Um, what, what do I mean by that? Well, so first you put your Snowfall Gems up here. Your Drip Plate would go off beneath it somewhere in here. Seven Multiply Gems. Most of them would have to go on the bottom row. Uh, because when you hit this, or the top row, whichever spot it was, so you'd get one more row of multiplies, um, but is that worth it compared to Tiara, Queen's Tiara, which would buff all of your black gems and the multiplies 70%? I, I, don't, I don't believe it is at all. I think it would be a very small gain very very small gain uh that would not be worth it compared to how well the drip would do other places it's just makes zero sense to me so i'm not going to run it this recycles itself a lot of black gem damage um and it's for seven million probably his best move set the only reason it's not last for me uh is because that 8 mp won't always be charged so this one in particular will scale really, really well with a gem damage strap, um, which as you can see here, I'm not using a crazy strap. It's a five percenter. Um, so I think this is the move set when you can load it um, with a tiara, which I'll throw on real quick. And if you have a heavy gem damage strap. So this is the thing that could scale and be very very fast but that 8 mp on the choose is a real problem uh it's not against tricksters because you could use this against the tricksters because the hardcore move um but other than that um it's only going to be useful the first few so you need to keep that in mind until we get more of these trainers and if you get them the dual four mps now that's assuming we do get a red black combo because there's a lot of combos you can make right
fairly fast on this. And we didn't cascade that time, so that was 8.1. <clears throat> I do think, let's say you had 100% strap with the multiplies and stuff. Uh, I think you'd go north of like 13, 14 mil on this. Uh, it would definitely hit hard enough. And obviously, uh, pretty much double that at 6 star uh, silver. But the 8 MP is a problem. That's why it's not last for me. Uh, next two movesets are kind of interesting. It really is a little bit random for me. And you have to use a sub. So it's kind of twofold, um, which some people are okay with the sub, some aren't. For those that don't like sub gameplay, you will not like these. However, uh, going to be great for boss battle. Uh, purple will be nutty. Oh, I have this loadout saved. I should do that, and then I should talk about the... Uh... moves huh military press power slam we've seen that one that's the black finisher and then the two purple spear 7 mp 189 k damage and increase your purple gem damage 215 percent for one turn of course we know these work great uh for boss also uh you're not going to give up your turn so this will stack steiner recliner 7 mp color submission choose eight gems to make into black sub gems do 324 k damage for three turns uh, not really big enough to think about a super sub. Uh, you could run a super sub build with him, but um, unless you, I don't really see why. So, do, 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 do. Uh, so two MP. You need uh, a two four breaks. To load the finisher in feud. There's our two four breaks. Uh, and then these turn into cross breaks, right? So ideally we keep a few of them on the board. Maybe get them kind of close to some purples. we kept them on the board that's great now we're so purple gems are at 45k now we're gonna buff them they're gonna go to way up there 144k now we're gonna make 26 random into purple um, which is a little bit dependent on the board how they line up got some cross breaks okay cascade uh, 6.2 million. Not bad. Uh, not amazing, but not bad. Also, that's something that'll scale really nicely with with a, with a better strap, right? I will run that again in a minute with an all-heart, because an all-heart's going to buff that more. Um, let's run this build set first. We're changing one thing up, and then I'll run both of these with an all heart. It's going to be better than a drip again. I know people are going to say drip, drip, but it's not. All heart's going to be better. Um, so we've seen all the moves, just changing the trainers and the, the move loadout. We're going to put Matt Hardy in for this one. Make the multiplies bigger. Same principle. Tiara is not going to do anything for us and hasn't been, by the way. Same exact principle couple row breaks then we're just going to put multiplies down and hopefully turn them purple mm -hmm. hopefully catch a couple cross breaks like this would be perfect 
This would also be perfect. We're not. So that was like really unlucky. And this is <clears throat> part of what I mean by you're a little bit at the mercy of the board and the randomness there. Um, which is the big drawback for these two builds. Which is why I like the uh, red double black better, but it's not always going to be loaded, right? So uh, let's leave those cross breaks. Or we didn't get any black gems, so let's just break the multiply actually. That'll uh, fill us up and keep some cross breaks. Like show. I would anticipate this is going to hit much better. It's really kind of boomer bust, but it does recycle. Um, but the speed is a little bit of a problem for me. But you can see that one hit much better, right? Okay, so let's throw all, all hard on and run the previous two build sets. So you guys can see those. Where is one of my all heart plates? Do -do 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 -do. There's one. All right. So like I said, I'll run this one in the previous one with the all heart, and then we'll talk about where he fits in. I dislike that he's a, an aggressive striker very much. Um, we'll talk about that when we get there, though. I'm going to two times speed this. No reason to have it slow now. You guys have seen all this stuff. Three, four, six. Uh, that would still be too short, so... Four and seven. That would... Four and three, seven. Good enough. Uh, good enough. Oh, let's leave the purple gem. Three hundred K for every one of those um seven times multiply gems that we can break with purple. 7 million right there. Did leave a little on the board, but not much. So, pretty good, right? Pretty decent. Uh, considering the strap, you have to keep that in mind. Again, I think for him to work, you're going to need, like, like to work well at 6-star silver. You're going to want, like, a 60% or better strap. Oops. I guess we're going to see that build set twice. purples on the board. I like that. Not very many cross breaks, though. See how we do. We're gonna do fairly okay. 6.3 mil. Like, again, just really random, right, guys? Like, a little too random for, for my taste. You guys know how I am about that. Uh, now let's check the buff move set. Of course, the buff set like, both of these two will be great for boss, like, purple. Um, the, the, we'll, we'll talk, I'll flip through them for boss in a second. He actually has a ton of utility for boss, to be honest. Uh, which is the best thing about him besides the trainer, in my opinion. For the strikers I have, I wouldn't personally feud with him. I just have way better options. 
but for boss there's a lot to like um you can do purple you can do black you can do bleed um you can do multiply so that's like i think his best feature aside from the trainer will be boss but he's aggressive which is loaded and of course there's some very good purple uh boss people already let's just do this go and it all comes down to do we hit our cross breaks and do we get a lot of purples we do so we hit for 7.7 mil again like i think both of these two builds assuming you connect with a 60 to 100 percent strap you're in that like 10 mil ish range which is right on the edge of is this somebody i want to take to silver with gem damage um so yeah, this moveset obviously would be great uh, for black, um, black gems in boss battle. Uh, this one for bleed. Um, you got the purples, either or for the purples. And then you got multiplies um, with this build. So that's how I feel about him for boss. Like the trainer is insane. Uh, but when you start looking at strikers, Ollie, if you have his gear, is certainly a much better aggressive striker, hits much harder. Uh, Bradshaw, in my opinion, just uh, in his own way, is versatile, better striker, um, probably better for boss, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's close. Funk definitely hits harder. He's chaotic um, and faster with less stuff needed. Um... Oh, you know, Rocky with a drip plate hits way harder, but you need a drip. Um, Rocker is better, right? So it's not that Braun is bad. He's good. He's very solid. All of the movesets are good. Uh, Drew, actually, if you have a big gem percentage strap, um, going to be faster, and I like Drew more, actually, for modern guys. Uh, but that's a big if. Obviously, Kurt's better. Hall of Fame Kurt, but that's assuming many many things um yeah and then i don't there's probably a couple strikers i don't have like hall of fame andre uh probably similar ish if you have the moment for feud but so he's not a bad striker he's quite quite good it's just that there's so many loaded options and the fact that he's aggressive and both ollie and bradshaw are aggressive doesn't help him very much butch is also aggressive uh judgment day plate red Butch's damage output isn't great it's a little bit less uh, but he's more defensive. Um, oh yeah, Bischoff with both gears and a drip plate in the moment, which is a ton of stuff, is one of the best strikers in the game. So I think Bischoff's better too, uh, but he does need a lot. <clears throat> so I think he's a very... I think he's a good uh, poster himself, like pretty versatile for boss and not bad, but really... To me, it's all about the trainer. He would go six star immediately. Like I wouldn't even wait. He would just go um, for the for the MP uh, usage alone. And that's his real shining achievement. So to me, I'd take him six star and then he'd chill, right? For what I have, um, there's a lot of other people I like more. Uh, personally, I like Ali more, Rocker, uh, Rocky more, Bradshaw more, Funk more, Rocker more, um, Bischoff more. Um, Drew more, Hall of Fame Kurt more, um, on my roster, right? But he's very, very good. So hopefully you enjoyed this preview video. I've talked enough. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share, because that really helps me out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. Bruh, that training ability. Holy crap. Much want, much, much, much want.